Disney's financial failures are getting ever so more desperate and worse and increasingly problematic for the Mouse House. They went from being the kings of entertainment to now staggering from failure to, to a failure. I'll put it that way. Like a drunkard, essentially. You know, had too much drink and they thought they were too big to fail. Now, they're learning less than the hard way. You go woke, you go broke. And now the theme parks are a ghost town. So this is on uh, Inside the Magic. It says... Disney World theme parks left empty as guests vanish from Disney World. And they show a picture of practically like it's, it's like basically like a, like a small town during winter. There's nobody there. In the article it says, Every single year millions of guests visit the Walt Disney World Resort from Magic Kingdom to Animal Kingdom to Epcot to ha and Hollywood Studios. There's no shortage of incredible experiences waiting for guests around every corner. Each one of the parks contains iconic rides and attractions ranging from thrilling adventures through space to more tame and educational experiences. Each one of these four parks is popular. It's been proven time and time again that the Magic Kingdom is the most visited theme park in the world, followed by Disneyland and Universal Orlando Resort. Basically the, the positive spin on the whole thing. But the facts are, are why it's so bizarre to see the Magic Kingdom sitting empty, especially on a summer night. We should occasionally see Walt Disney World looking less, we occasionally see Walt Disney World looking less and less crowded than normal, but the Magic Kingdom is the last park we, accept to see, we expect to see this empty. No kidding. Uh, of course, it all depends on the time of year, as well as the, the day you're visiting. Recently, Magic Kingdom looks about as empty as it could on any evening in July. A photo of the empty Adventureland was shared online, which is linked below. You th I mean, during the winter, you could probably expect it. During the summer, when everyone's on summer vacation, the kids are at least, it ought to be packed. You know, the wait lines ought to be hours long. Now they're like, like what, 20 minutes at most? It's, it's a ghost town. And like, there really is no excuse for it, because it's during the summer when all the kids are on summer vacation. It says in the article, it's super shocking to see, especially considering that we're currently in the prime summer season. Magic Kingdom has been experiencing some ride and attraction breakdowns. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, but we're so we're super fascinated to see it empty as it is. Uh, I'm not fascinated. I'm, I'm actually not surprised whatsoever. We've seen Magic Kingdom empty before, but it's always surprising. But it's always surprising to see. Uh, still, we've taken the back on how empty the Magic Kingdom was earlier this week. It just goes to show you how when you're at the right place at the right time, Disney parks may not be as crowded as you originally thought. Now, they're kind of trying to put a positive spin on this whole thing. The point is, is that I did a video back in March, and it was a ghost time back then, too. The, pro the point is, is that it's not just, okay, you know, it's, it's just once in a while. July 4th, they had the worst attendance in over a decade, you know, and even the, and when you have the cruise lines are failing as well. You see, the theme parks are being abandoned. Meanwhile, Universal is actually having a lot of success. Their, their parks are crowded. Why? Well, because, well, first of all, they're, they're competing. And, for, and second of all, they're actually just doing what an entertainment company ought to do. You know, entertainment. Not inserting ideology into all your films. And now it's gotten to the point where even stuff that Disney does that's non-political is still failing because of the fact that they've tarnished their, they've tarnished their image. You go woke, you go broke. Disney has yet to learn that lesson. It's just a blunt reality these people seem to fail to acknowledge. So, I wanted to show you guys that. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.